Ani and Atiina are in the magical world of Codetopia at night. Glowing orbs float in the sky, gently bouncing. Ani and Atiina stare in amazement as Bite, their glowing robot companion appears. Welcome back, young coders. Last time, we prepared our coding toolbox. Today, we're adding magic to our websites, JavaScript. Wait, isn't our website already magical? We have colors, borders, and even cool layouts. True, but right now, our web page is static. It just sits there like a sleeping dragon. But with JavaScript, we can make it move, react, and even talk back. Whoa. So, JavaScript is like a wizard spellbook for websites? Exactly. And to cast our first spell, we need a special file, our JavaScript file. Look at our files. Index.html for structure. Styles.css for design. But we need a.js file for JavaScript. Oh, that's why HTML ends in .html, CSS in .css, and JavaScript in .js. That makes it so easy to tell them apart. Exactly. Now, let's create a new file in VS Code and name it index.js. Great. Now, let's write our first JavaScript. Wait, what does let do? Let creates a variable. Think of a variable like a treasure chest where we store important things. In this case, our message. In console.log, it looks like a secret message command. Exactly. Console.log prints messages in the console so we can see what's happening inside our code. Huh? I don't see anything. That's because console.log doesn't change the page, it sends messages to the console. Let's check it. Byte guides them to the VS Code terminal. Atina right clicks in index.js file and clicks run code. Whoa, it worked. I see our message in the terminal. Great, but we can also run JavaScript inside the browser. Go to the browser and right click, then click inspect. Then console tab, then type. Console.log, hello from the browser. Awesome. So we can run JavaScript both in VS Code and inside the browser. Exactly. Now, let's practice using different variables. Activity time. Create a new variable inside index.js and print it to the console. Example. Let my name equals Atiina. Console.log, hello, plus my name plus. Balloon. Extra challenge. Change the text inside the console to anything you like. Great job today. Codetopians. Next time, we'll learn about different types of variables, numbers, and more cool tricks. Stay tuned. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.